Hi children, after a short break, we are back to our online EBS class. I am Asha Santosh, your EBS teacher. Welcome you all back to the online class. Let's start our topic. This is your EBS online class, isn't it? Children, let me clarify this. Under environmental studies, in this content page, you can see the name of 10 lessons. In these 10 lessons, some lessons are from social studies. You need not study anything from social studies because it is not a separate subject till 5th standard. Some lessons are marked over here. These all will come under environmental studies. Children, in these 6 lessons, 2 lessons are activity lessons. That are lesson 8 and 9. In this class, we will discuss about an interesting topic. It is an activity lesson, lesson number 8, animals and their eating habits. We all know food is an essential thing in our life. It is very important thing. Without food, we cannot live. We eat different varieties of food. We will eat our food three times daily, minimum. In between also, when we feel hungry, we will eat something. Isn't it? Minimum three times we will eat uh, in a day. That is in the morning breakfast, then evening, lunch and at night, dinner. Let me ask one question. Do all the animals are eating same kinds of food? Do you think like that? No. Different animals are eating different kinds of food. For example, cow, buffalo, they will eat grass, leaf, etc. We human beings eat fruits, vegetables, rice, chicken, mutton, etc. Then we cook our food before eating, isn't it? Most of our food are cooked. What about the birds? Birds will eat fruits, vegetables, grains, etc. Then what about lion, tiger? Yes, they will eat other small animals, flesh of other animals. Different animals eat different types of food. So, according to the food habit, we can divide the animals into three categories. They are herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Which are the three categories? Herbivores, yes, carnivores and omnivores. Herbivores means the animals which eat only plants or plant products. What about carnivores? Carnivores means the animals which eat only other animals or animal products. What about omnivores? Yes, omnivores means the animals which eat both plants and animals. These are the three categories, three groups of animals according to the food habit. So children, can you tell some examples for herbivores, carnivores and omnivores? Now you all know what are herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Then just try to tell some examples for each type. Yes, first one, first type is herbivore. Yes, animals which eat only plants. Ah, cow, buffalo, goat, etc. These all animals eat only plants. Then, what about carnivores? Carnivores means animals which eat only anim other animals or animal products. Example, lion, tiger, etc. Then, what about omnivores? Omnivores means uh, the animals which eat both plants and animals. Dog, cat, human beings. We also eat both plants and animals. Isn't it? Next is food chains. The following pictures tell us what an animal eats in nature. In first picture you can see grass is eaten by deer and deer is eaten by a tiger. In second picture, carrot is eaten by rabbit, rabbit is eaten by a fox. The grass, deer and tiger form a chain. Such a chain which tells us 
who is what in nature is called a food chain. So we already learned that plants can produce their own food. So all animals depend plants for their food. So children, all food chains will start from a plant or plant product. Here in first one you can see water plants, fish and human. Can you feel the second food chain? Yes, zebra will eat grass. So children, as we discussed earlier, different animals have different food habit. So according to their food which they eat, they have suited mouth parts also. For example, herbivores such as uh, horse, camel, cow, goat, they all only eat plants. They have sharp and broad front teeth and flat back teeth for chewing their food very well. Children, the animals like cow, buffalo, during the time of grazing, they will swallow their food. Whenever they take rest, they bring back the swallowed food again to their mouth and chew it well. So that process is known as chewing the cud. Then, next is carnivore. We all know carnivores eat the flesh of other animals. So, they need to tear the flesh. For that purpose, they have four long, sharp, pointed teeth to tear the flesh. And the back teeth are flat. For what? Yes, chewing the flesh. Okay, these are the adaptations of carnivores to eat their food. Let's discuss about some more animals. Did you see snakes? Do you like snakes? Oh, I don't like snakes. Did you ever see this, how the snakes are eating their food? They will not chew their food. It will swallow their food. What about lizards and frogs? They also swallow their food. They will uh, eat, lizards will eat small, small insects. Isn't it? They have very long sticky tongue. Using that sticky tongue, they will catch the insects and swallow it. Chameleon also has very long tongue and it catches its prey in the same way. Then did you see butterflies, mosquitoes? Butterflies has very long hollow tube like structure. We will use straw to drink uh, juices and all. Like that, butterflies has very long hollow tube. Using that, it will suck the nectar. Nectar means sweet juice of flowers. It will drink nectar. Suck nectar using hollow long tube. Then what about mosquito? Mosquito also has very sharp and long tube. By using it, it will suck the blood. Isn't it? You need not study anything from this lesson for your exam. Because this is an activity lesson. You have to do the activity which I mentioned below yourself. With the help of your parents. Okay? And show it to me whenever you come back to your school. Okay children, let's conclude today's session. Hope all of you have understood this lesson very well. It's a very simple lesson. We have discussed three types of animals according to the food habit and the adaptations. We'll see you in our next class. Until then, take care and goodbye.